All right, this is another Bruce Echo example doing file I.O. with uh, this time we're using a vector of strings. In the last example, in, in the previous example, we used, um, you know, we concatenated a bunch of strings together and um, printed out the whole string. This time we're going to um, use a string for each line. We're going to use I.O. stream so that we can um, see out we can we can uh, we'll have the see out object to write out to the console we're going to use f stream so we can read in from um, this file fill vector.cpp and we're going to use a vector object this time so here we declare our um, our vector it's going to be a vector of strings we're naming it v and then we um, have a, an input file stream called in that's reading from vectors uh, fill vector.cpp uh, and we declare a string called line so we're going to read in one line at a time so we say while get line notice get line is a boolean right it returns a boolean it returns either a true or a false so if um, uh, if it's able to read from um, the input file stream in, uh, it'll it'll put whatever it reads. It'll put that line into the string uh, called line. But if it can't do it, so and and then if it does that successfully, it returns true. If it can't do it, um, and typically this is because it's at the end of the file, right? If it gets to the end of the file, it can't read anymore. It'll return a false. Okay. So every time through, it's reading line after line after line. Every time it reads a line, it does a pushback. So it, it does v dot pushback line to push back that line to add that line to the end of the vector. All right. And then we're going to go through. And this time, when we loop through, we're looping through the um, vector for the size of the vector. Um, we're going to add in line numbers. So we're going to say in our C out, we're going to type in I, and then we're typing in this uh, colon space, and then we're and then VI is the actual line from the file. So this time we're not getting exactly the file. We're getting each line of the file with a line number in front of it, line number colon. And then I stuck in a system pause here so we can see what gets printed out. Yes, I would like that. And there it is. And see, here are our nice line numbers. Okay, let's just press any key to continue. Okay. All right, so that's how you can... And again, you know, the, the structure that you want to read into depends on what you want to do. Um, in this case, reading into a vector is nice because then, like, let's say if you had a, a file that... Um, instead of being a file with code in it like this one it was a file with um, high score numbers if you um, loaded them all those scores if you had a score on each line and you um, loaded those all those scores into a vector then you could you know sort the uh, the scores highest to lowest or whatever you wanted before you displayed them something like that